Oh my god. Jesus Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery down. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. What jokes are right? Here you go. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place, earn their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe yeah, so Crawford for as long obviously as I could, everyone out but in the end, need. I couldn't protect her. she was just trying to protect her. her sister. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. It's not fair that she had to go this through that. This is all I have left but. of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Who's ringing that if Molly's in here? The hatchet's gone, the hatchet's gone. Jesus! Oh Jeff! Ben! Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. Oh, it was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. Oh, shit! Going on? They're coming. Oh shit! That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault. All my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. We've not got time for this, do we? This is all your fault, Kenny. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, we... I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, sure that's anymore. when they attacked. And that's when Duck... We don't have time for all of this shit. Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. Gotta 
Focus on getting out of here. You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dad! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can warp his skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! Yeah, we, did, we need to get here, like, immediately, like, right now. Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I can't do this right now. I abstain. We'll figure this out later. I don't want to make Clem sad or anything. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's gotta be a way out down here. Why? Just look through the window. Just look through the window. Why did you do that? It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Everybody go, everybody go, everybody go. Lee, look! trying to protect me. It's all right, Clem. I'm fine. Any way out of oh, here? Once. This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. Uh, I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go!
Beer. Come on, let's go! Sorry, Ben. Why is he screaming for me? He told me to drop bomb. He's just, he's killed too many people. Too many of the good characters. So, Krista, everything okay? Oh, me. Hold on. Is he dead? Krista, don't stay back. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. Already? My man. We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Where's Ben? He didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. You have to say that. Thanks a lot. You did the right thing. Trust me. She'll understand. Man, I hope so. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here asshole, for a few more hours to check I on have you. To. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. There was no need for Ben. Yes, thank Honestly, you so much. Like, no need. Not anymore. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk, in private. Listen, man, about what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost bit. my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. Basically what I was anyway. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away, which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her, 
And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. I feel so bad, like just with the whole Clem situation right now, nothing's going well. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I don't I'm want sure. to go. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. I love Molly. Listen, I think she's probably I'm one of the best characters. You barely get to see her. Tell the others ever. for me. Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Probably not anymore. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out That's of time. That's the truth. And that saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well... She was right. Before Do you we really ever hear making me feel bad about dropping him? Time to look for my parents. I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. I love this little girl so much. This is this episode's painful, very painful. <sighs> Clementine. Clementine? So where is she is the next question? They have the next order of business, isn't it? 
Clementine? Clementine! And where is everyone else? Oh, God. Not her heart. Not the heart. It gives me so much anxiety. Because we keep losing her. I knew that was coming, but I just totally forgot. out here it ain't safe lee where's clementine i'm not gonna conceal she's it not in her room vernon ain't in the house either what the hell is going on whose blood is that it's mine oh my god no way no no fucking way there's no time to worry about me clementine's gone there's no chance she just wandered off on her own no no way then who the hell took her i don't know Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. I really don't have that much time. You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon. I love See that if guy. He took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Come on. And they're gone. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt.
lockers out there, isn't it? I wonder why. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! this it's not Vernon if that's what you're thinking and you should really watch your tone Clementine's fine but if I were you I'd choose my next words very carefully Uh, did you kill the boy? 73% of us did. 57% um, of players uh, were rational and honest with Vernon. 47% uh, brought Clem to, Clem to Crawford. So, you know, uh, the, you actually could have not took her. I just thought you always could, to be honest. I just can't say no to her. Um, 54% of players let Ben go, so 46 people were okay with him. And 80% of players showed the bite. So. Uh, who came with you? 13% chose that. Uh, sometimes it's just you and Ben. I've never had that before. 12% uh, Ben and Kenny. 16% all of them. 18% just you and Kenny. 6% just Lee. 11% just Crystal and Omid. And 14% without Kenny but with Ben. So I think that's pretty interesting because I just like the group that I've got. Don't get the credits in a minute, so I'm just gonna mute it for a sec. But yeah, so we'll get the credits in a minute the next time on uh The Walking Dead. Um Yeah, what do you guys think of the episode? <laughs> Thank you.